I think this is it all the way to Towen now. Flat, but I mean. Birds are singing well. Remembering all this surrounding from uh, bicycle rides I've been on. There's people up ahead. First people I've seen walking since just after Flung Grill. Don't know if I'll catch them up. I'm starting to feel a bit tired, but I'm going to try and push to toe in. And I have proper lunch there. Very interesting structure which I've cycled past. I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a previous film though. These bits here, I don't know. I'm suspecting uh, rifle range, but no idea really. It reminds me of those things they've got on the south coast that were built during the First World War as an early sonar. But I don't think it's that. I don't think it's big enough. It's, I think it's uh, rifle range. Still pushing to towing. I've broken out the gold bars. It's Ton Van I halt. Request stop. You have to stick your arm out for the train to stop for you. No ticket machine. Maybe that was something to do with the station, but I'm not sure. Coming up to the Tom Van Eye Bridge, celebrated its 10th year last year. Before that was there, it would be all the way into Bring Krug. It's a real godsend, actually. Tide is high, and I'm moving on. I'm going to be your number one. I filmed my first oyster catcher going under that bridge. Maybe I'll find the footage still. Very good place for bird watching around here along the estuary. There's uh, an oyster catcher just flown under the bridge. I don't know if you saw that. Arrowhawk just landed on that telegraph pole. And the Skylark is singing. Not noticed that this year so far. It's nice. Can't see him. Bird Rock, home to the UK's furthest inland nesting colony of cormorants, not cormorants, uh, kitty words, shags maybe, I'm not sure. I've put that up. Still not reached Towin. That's the beginning of it. A bit of a 
bit of a drag this flat bit that I was looking forward to. I preferred it earlier on. Gone a bit greyer as well. Go and buy some plasters and water in the town and I'll just keep keep on to Abu Dhabi. 20 to 1. Afternoon. It's 25 to 2. I'm headed for Abu Dhabi now. And the distance between Abu Dhabi and Machuncliffe is 12 miles. So um, I want to see how close to Mac I can get before dark. It's a rather unusual place there. Oh, there's people here. Anyway. They were right behind me, I had no idea. So we're uh, plodding up the coast. I'm hoping this shower will blow out fairly quickly. I haven't put my leggings on. I'm trying to avoid that because it means taking the shoes off. So, well, not really, but it is fiddly, so... I think they thought I was talking to myself. Well, I am, technically. Until it goes on YouTube and then I'm talking to everybody else who chooses to watch, so hello. <sighs> Keep plodding on. Flat all the way to Abu Dhabi, though. stop but it's it's not bad I'm not bothering putting my leggings on because uh, me only clean other pair of trousers so what I'll do is I'll wear them in the bivvy bag or the sleeping bag instead <coughs> and put my trousers on tomorrow we're just gonna get to Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi to Mac is 12. I think I've said this before, but I don't remember. And then a Mac to Borth is 15 or 18, depending on which path you do, because the uh, Keridigian coast path goes to Inneslas. But the Wales coast path goes along the Avon Larry. Cuts a bit off. And then both to Abba is six, so six and I'll say six and eighteen, what's that? Twenty-four plus twelve is 
36 miles left to go. It's doable for 30, maybe 40 because of the bit uh, between Tarran and Abadavi. So I'm nowhere near halfway, but feeling pretty good. I haven't put the classes on yet. Just want to keep going. Couple's overtaken me again. So let them plod on. Plodding a bit slower. A couple ahead, and then there's some more people who I'm catching up with, or they're coming towards me. From right down here now, the dune path is more or less gone. So it's just the path on the on the sand. That's oh, quite hard. I go on the edge of it. Unless the tide's coming in or out. The rain started again. Still raining. My feet just gave up earlier. I don't know what happened because they were aching. A bit sore, but... And then suddenly the tremendous pain in the heel. It was like the skin just ripped off. I'm presuming that's actually what happened. I'm not taking them off to have a look. Pushing on to Abu Dhabi. But uh, they're actually getting better on this flat bit. So I was in two minds whether to sit in the train station and mull over my options. But I'll see how I feel. even for the afternoon though this some people up ahead the dunes i stopped walking along because the golf course was next to it and then there was this fence up and i thought well if i'm going to get fenced in i don't want to be so oh god pain No view of anything anymore. Bit of a bit of a sandy cliff there. It's nice here for the sand. Nice sandy beach. Much better than Aberystwyth Beach. Walking along it for well an hour and a half now. It's five to three. So I'm at Abu Dhabi, I think, nearly. There's people over there. And the time it took me to get to Tarin. Soaked through. Uh, in pain. I can see an Islas right there. Doesn't, I don't think you can walk that actually. I'm not sure. I'm not going to try it. I, know, I don't know of anyone who's ever walked it, so I doubt you can do it. Oh, get into the town and have a rest. Oh, it's Abu Dhabi. feel totally destroyed, I'm going to have to sit down. We'll sit down in the train station, I think. I'm sorely tempted. I've uh, 
just gotta get fit. I think back to when I was with the Expedition Society and did uh, six days of this weather and distance terrain. And it wasn't easy, but it was easier. Uh, I think the company must help. It's very, very hard for motivation. I sit down somewhere. Yes, I always find solace in a train station. I think it's the comfort and the ease of the train. So you just don't have to do anything. You get on and it's all done, it's all done for, everything's done for you. Um, the next one to Mac is at 17.33, it's 15.40 now, so I just saw the train go actually. Dudley doesn't have a train station in the centre, there's this one which is Dudley, which is at the western end, and Penhelig which is at the eastern end. I think even walking to Penhelig I'd have missed it. My feet aren't that bad, actually. I've been walking all the way along the beach. I got absolutely, absolutely soaked though, because the coat doesn't work. The leggings aren't waterproof either, so I'd have, I'd have got soaked either way. Um, I need to sort out waterproofs, so that's the plan. It's been good fun though. Really good. I'm going to look at the mileage. Just get it out. I don't think it's more than 20. Uh, 17 miles in 9 hours and 16 minutes. 1.9 miles an hour. It's not, not as good as I thought it would be, but 2,724 feet climbed. Snowden is 3,600, so... Max miles per hour, 17, I don't know where that was. Oh, you, you haven't seen that, have you? There you go. Pause. Stop. End, yes. Um, slim chance that I decide to walk, I can always start it again. 17 miles, that's, that's not, not many, um, I was hoping that would be 9 hours would take me like 20 miles at least, 10 hours, 20 miles, it's just under the 2 miles an hour average isn't it, I don't know if that's good or bad, anyway, I'm going to bite to eat and drip, off, drip a bit. Just occurred to me. I shouldn't really complain. It's been a very good learning curve. I'd be grateful I can walk 17 miles. I've no idea how heavy that rucksack is. I'll do a kit breakdown when when I get in. Glass Tupperware probably isn't the best. I haven't used my stove. I've not used any of the warm clothes because it's not been cold. Didn't use my pyjamas. Or my big gloves. Buff, I haven't used my towel. Or my tooth toothpaste. I probably ought to if I'm going to go on the train though. Um, it feels like a lot more than 17 miles. A lot more. A lot more. <laughs> Looking at this advert for the from rail to trail.
where I've been. We've got the train from Aber, Barmouth. Walked all the way, slept there, and then today I've done this. And it was lovely until towing. And from there to there. Got soaking wet. My feet have recovered actually. I don't know. Fuck me. Yeah. Feet aren't too bad. This um that's uh, someone's house there. Well, two houses, so there's no, no uh, toilet, so I'll just have to jump and pee over there, I think. And sit in the shelter. It's 16.04, so an hour and a half. Very peaceful here. The sounds of the birds in the rain. Quite nice. I wonder if the birds feel discomfort and dislike the rain. Ow. All joints have seized up. It's 16.21. Time is Ticking, ticking by quite quickly actually. It's only a bit further down, less than a mile to go to the other end of the prom. Shivering all the way back on the train. Uh, had to run for the Dovey Junction connection. It was quite... Uh, all the way down at the other end of the platform and uh, the conductor very kindly phoned them up and told them to wait a bit. So it was about... It was about seven of us who had to get to Aberystwyth actually, so... Which was a third of the train, so... Hmm. But by the sounds of it, you would have done it for just one person. Feeling very cold, but it's been a cracking, cracking little adventure. I have to do it again, just for the day. Go up on the train, <coughs> camp out, little walk, come back. I'm going to take the. My, uh, my, my, my dad gave me a tip for. Take. I'll start that again. <laughs> it's not very good, is it? It's not... you can't be a YouTuber if you can't get the sentences down. Bloody hell. Take the 
insoles out the boots and they might be a bit bigger and it might cure the bl uh, blisters a bit so it's unusual I get blisters with the mindles because they're really good I think I'll leave the recording here it's cracking adventure I know I said I was going to kick the bar at the other end but that was if I was going to be walking back down the hill on the coast path properly so I always failed to do the whole trip walking I overestimated myself a bit it was still more than half the distance to go and I got abs absolutely soaked to the skin, still cold and wet so I'll get back, have a wash, eat my pigs and blankets and potatoes and yeah and I'll say thank you very much for watching and until next time Cheerio. There we go. I thought I'd do it anyway. Wait for the summer and I'll take less stuff. And I should be able to do it. Anyway. I'll say again, thanks very much for watching. Until next time. Cheerio.